Hello YouTubers, this is Max again. I'm with you for a second installment of uh, how to record videos with Linux using Kazam. Um, I just wanted to go over a few more points that I didn't in the first video. Uh, let me go ahead and start by opening up Kazam for you. And there it is. Uh, if you um, if you followed me in the first video, I was telling you about the interface and how to use everything on it. It's a very simple yet effective video uh, recorder or screencaster, whichever you prefer, whichever term you want to use. Uh, what I wanted to do was is go over a few simple points. Um, number one, when your screencast is um, is up and running, um, you might not see the actual interface here, but you will see it down at the bottom. Usually for me, it's on the right. Okay, and with the uh, red dot in the middle, that means that it is doing an active recording. And when it's not doing a recording, that dot will be uh, grayed out. Also, another feature, just in case anybody was wondering, is if you go ahead and left click on the uh, red dot down at the bottom right hand corner, you'll see you have several options here. You have finished recording or pause. Um, I, this is where, you know, if you like, if you have to do something on the video and you know it's going to take more than 5, 10, 20, 30 minutes, you can always pause the video. And then when you're done, you can just uh, click it back to start again. And it's like, you know, it's like you never had to pause to begin with. All right. And, um, to, and I just wanted to show you that. Also, um, in my first video regarding Kazam, and I'm not sure if that's the correct way of saying it or not, but I'm just going to say Kazam. Uh, in my first video, I was telling you guys that uh, you can go online to uh, the launch pad for Kazam and you can go there and find out more information as far as volunteering, who created it, who's working on it now. Um, another thing that you can do is once you come back to your little small Kazam interface, uh, instead of going to the website or instead of typing in the website address, you can just go to help. You left click on that, go to about. You'll see here the Kazam name and the version. And if you want to go to the Launchpad uh, website where they're um, accepting volunteers and, and doing a lot of stuff with the Kazam project, if you just click on this link right here, it'll take you right there. And as you can see, it takes you straight there to Kazam. I thought that was another point that uh, should be um, pointed out to you guys to let you guys know that that's there for you just in case you wanted a simpler easier way of getting to the project. Um, like I said this is a real good um, video, a video recorder, video screencaster. I like it. I've used it now for a while, let's say maybe about a year or so. I've never had any major problems with it. Um, I enjoy it. So I use it for making a lot of my videos. I think that if you use it, you'll like it too. So thank you very much. That's all I had to say about Kazam. Um, like I say, you should try it. It's a real good video screencaster slash recorder. Um, I haven't had any problems with it. Um, I'm sure there are several other good ones out there, but this one is very nice. It's very simple and it just works straight out of the box so i hope this video helped you guys thank you very much and you have a good day